hello friends today we are going to see tutorial on heat transfer through body by conduction media so here for that purpose i have to open that console multiphysics after opening that console multiphysics we have to open that uh, model wizard now uh, i am going to draw a 3d model for that purpose i will select the 3d after selecting 3d it will take some time to open the workspace so here it will ask to so here i am going to do a heat transfer through solids so i will select that solid and add after adding this it will take some time to load so this uh, this will explain you in heat transfer how the heat transfer will be occur in that console multiphysics which type of power is used in the heat transfer by conduction media it will take some time for loading that is depends on the ram of your laptop or your pc so after that it will ask you study so and now i am going to do a stationary study so i will select the stationary then next done it will open the workspace <coughs> after opening that here you can set the the unit for this geometry so here i am going to set a centimeter then i am going to draw a geometry so here i am going to draw a block of uh, one one centimeter for that purpose i will select the width one depth one height one and i will click on the build selected and what will happen the body will be get extruded and block will be get generated so here i will generate the composite wall so here again i will click on geometry and i will click on the block so what will happen so here again it will generate the block so here same size of block i will generate and i will um, fix a nearer to or attach to this body so here this distance x distance is one centimeter so i will uh, change the position of this block with the help of that so now here the two blocks are getting generated now so we have to select the material for these two blocks so i will select the iron material you can select the uh, different material as per your requirement so here you have to click on material add from library so here you can go material library and you can select the any material so here i will select the iron alloys from which i will select ss316l add to component and then when we, then it will automatically apply to both bodies okay now these both bodies are manufactured by iron now next step is here i am going to apply heat to one side i will check how much heat is transferred to another side for that purpose we have to go into heat transfer in solid we have to click on that we have to add temperature tab and that temperature tab we have to give this side so here the by default this uh, temperature is 293.15 so kelvin plus here i will add the 40 so that temperature will become a 40 degree okay this is for one side wall now next i will add temperature to another side also so here new temperature tab is generated so here i will give temperature of 293.15 okay so i have given the temperature to both sides now what i have to do i have to do meshing so here we have to click on mesh and build all 
then the both bodies will be get mesh after that we will click on study and I will compute so after computing that we will get the results and we can analyze analyze the results of this heat transfer to conduction in solid we can see the results so here the, we can see the this side has a high temperature and this side has a less temperature now this uh, we can see the scale on that scale we can see the 293 point something that will be the less temperature and 330 will be the high temperature which is shown here so uh, here I will show maximum and minimum so maximum we can see the 333 and minimum is 293 so you can click on here we can check the maximum and minimum plot also so here this side we can see the maximum temperature and this side we can see the minimum temperature